Lauren Ritchie from Awful TV, sponsored by Westphere, and today we're talking to the cast of Two. How are you guys doing? No. Hi, I'm Lauren Ritchie from Awful TV, sponsored by Bill Mars, and I'm joined by James Craze from Ernie. How are you for today? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop now. Because oh. uh, oh. I was going to do a waffle then, I'm stopping. It is Waffle TV! Oh, yeah. 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 Hey. It's made of waffle. Yeah. <laughs> so would you say your show's very much intended for young like young women to see. You know, it's interesting. We had a sh um, an audience of almost all men the other day. I think it's universal. So in terms of being a magician, does anyone know your secrets? Is there like one person you tell everyone? He did. Unfortunately, I had to kill him. So not anymore. Not anymore. You deal with some difficult issues in the show, as well as it being funny and comical, but was that a challenge to get the tone right and deal with those issues? Um, I think so what's the craziest drunken ant antic to happen on stage? There's like a billion to choose from. How many friends would you say you have on social media? Something like 550 friends. How many of them do you actually talk to? I might just see five. How many friends would you say you have on social media? Uh, about 300. On one site alone I've got over a thousand friends. I think I have about 300. About a thousand. A thousand? Wow. <laughs> How many of those people would you say you actually see? About 15, 20. Uh, about 10. Seven, about five or six, I'd say. Maybe about eight or nine. So do you think not talking is affecting young people's mental health? If you're using social networking too much, then you're not talking to people properly, face to face. Um, the first mental health hospital that I was ever in was a place called uh, Dingleton Hospital in Melrose. Behind me is the retired Greyhounds Trust charity day. RGT is a charity that works to rehoming old greyhound racing dogs and gives them a second chance at life. Ian Carmichael, a racing trainer himself, runs the charity. You know, the dogs, once they finish racing, each year 5,000 greyhounds need a home. Treated as less human, just a piece of meat, my breast shallow, my heart weak. Given the importance of wildlife tourism, is shooting seals not then a risk to the industry? Some of the tour operators have shown me photographs of pregnant seals that have been shot, not killed outright, but left to die over several days. Eyemouth is a town that thrives on the fishing industry, and it is also the home of two very popular seals. What do the people here think about shooting them? This Eyemouth fisherman has chosen not to state his name. Well, I think myself that there's <laughs> How else could you get rid of 